Now listen, I'm not talking about breakfast, lunch, or dinner, but the FBI is out here serving the girls, okay? Bon appetit! Bon appetit! <laughs> I'm the librarian. I'm librarian. And I came, and I to, came read. to read. Um, if I were you, I would go ahead and make sure that I'm checking out for the culture podcast.com. Especially tomorrow, I would want to keep my eye out on that particular website, on that particular platform, if I were you. So go ahead on over. Uh, we already released an episode last Tuesday, Girl Get Your Life. It is called Ironically Bon Appetit. Patreon.com slash Adrian Expression is still over there. It's still get your life. Okay, sign up because the girls over there ended up seeing my Halloween costume first before anyone else did. So if you want, you know. I mean, that's where you go to see the secrets. That's where you go for the latest content at the earliest motherfucking time. So get your life. I was Starfire if you guys did not see it. I personally think that I slayed the girls. I would love to hear your thoughts on this, but honestly, Blackfire needs to run for cover, okay? I'm going back to Tamarang to claim my motherfucking throne because um, Blackfire really tried me. So just go ahead on over to patreon.com slash Adrian Expression if you really want to stay up to date and get shit earlier than everybody else, okay? Now, as you may have noticed, I'm over here sporting some ears. I'm not sure if you can see it. I'm giving you guys, you know, fake diamond encrusted ass. You know, this, I'm sure it's glass. Um, fake diamond encrusted ass ears because I'm feeling a bit festive. I even gave you this old tired ass necklace that I wear all the time. I'm giving you girls a little bit of festive I'm, because I'm over here happy. I feel like I'm about to vote the house down like Frank Ocean. I'll get on his motherfucking ass later. Um, but I wanted to let you hoes know that Paul Manafort is out here shaking. I don't know if I can even say shaking in his boots anymore because girl, it's over with. <laughs> I mean, you can't be scared no more when the shit already happened, girl. Now you gotta find a way to deal with it. Girl, Paul Manafort has been motherfucking indicted and arrested. Indicted and arrested. Okay, do you know what I'm saying? Rick Gates, who was his business partner. Oh my God, let me just go ahead and say it. Partner in crime. <laughs> Rick Gates, who was Paul Manafort's partner in crime, has also been arrested. I said it might take a couple months, but we're gonna get his ass on out of here, okay? It really does say a lot that Mueller ass was able to come after Paul Manafort because these are big dogs. It's like Paul Manafort ran his motherfucking campaign, okay? Like this, these are big dogs. It says a lot that the FBI was able to go after people like this and not some like intern or some shit like that. It means that they really can prove the shit, okay? It means that they really have something and their goal right now, I was reading up, honey. I was reading up. I was doing my, my research, honey. The goal right now is to get them hosts to talk, okay? Now, what they're going to go after is a bail that these people like Paul Manafort and shit a bail that they cannot afford so that they will have to sit in jail until their trial and then what that means is that they'll be more likely to fucking talk and give more information so what right now we're looking at is trying to get a crazy ass bail that they can't fucking afford so they will sit in the motherfucking cell and talk okay if you want a list of what the fuck they have been charged with fasten your motherfucking seat belts Fasten your seatbelts because it's right here, okay? The indictment, I'm gonna read it, honey, because this shit is everything. I'm getting my motherfucking life and Donald Trump's over here on Twitter just having a fucking meltdown, girl. It is hilarious. Let's read these motherfucking 12 ass motherfucking charges, okay? The indictment includes 12 charges against the men. Conspiracy against the United States, girl, well, just hang it up right there, bitch. Just, just hang it up right there. I mean, it's so serious, girl. The conspiracy against the United States, conspiracy to launder money, seven separate counts of failure to file reports of foreign bank and financial accounts, serving as an unregistered agent of a foreign principal, making false and misleading statements under the Foreign Agent Registration Act, and making false statements to federal investigators. Girl, I mean, I I know that they have um, proof to prove at least one of these hoes. <laughs> They're in trouble, but I'm going to tell you who else is also in trouble, the whole motherfucking Trump campaign, bitch, because some, something else just came out. George Papadopoulos, is that how you say his fucking name? I don't know, girl. It's giving me snuffleupagus type of teeth, but we're going to move the fuck along. George as pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI about, about the extent of and the nature of his relationship with Russia and shit like that. So, girl, hang it up. Hang it up, bitch. I'm not talking about flat screen. I'm talking about a photo frame. I'm talking about, bitch, just hang it up. And this is very important, too, because Trump was over here trying to deflect on Twitter saying, well, girl, y'all worried about the wrong things. This was a year ago. It has nothing to do with my campaign. And just the fact that somebody, I mean, George S., who just pled guilty, he was responsible for advising uh, the Trump campaign 
on foreign policy and that was all the way up until 2017 so it's just like yes girl I mean these are separate cases if you want to see them like that but the fact that George asked who's a part of your campaign who's still involved in your administration up until 2017 girl I mean it just shows that this shit is connected and they're coming for your ass they're working their way up the food chain so I don't know what the fuck you have to do girl but you need to cover your ass because they're coming I mean Trump is doing everything that his cashew slash peanut shaped head ass you know no brain cell having ass can do to try and you know get people distracted from this story but it's not working sis like your fucking house of cards is falling and that's ironic I'm getting on Kevin Spacey ass next I mean he's just going off tweeting talking about sorry but this was years ago before Paul Manafort was part of the Trump campaign why aren't crooked Hillary and the Democrats the focus and he said also there is no collusion and it's just like girl what a member of your mother I mean they did this I think back in July George turned himself in and just we're just now finding out because the case got unsealed today so it's just like girl just hang it up you need to just resign just resign Donald Trump resign so that they don't have to drag your ass through the motherfucking mud now what I'm hoping is that Donald Trump does not lose his fucking mind even further and try to do something like firing Mueller ass girl because it would be really over with then it would be really over with I cannot wait to see how this unfolds I'm hoping that it unfolds kind of like you know Donald Trump's triple chin okay I want to see every crevice you know when he reaches up I want to see every crevice I want to see everything that has been involved I want it all to be aired out like the dirty laundry that Kelly Rowland said that she, she dropped her keys on the kitchen floor bitch I want it now before we talk about the next topic I wanted to tell you guys really quickly that uh, Justin J and I are participating in the HBO sponsored insecure on set contest if we win we'll be able to be working for I think two months on the set of Insecure while they're filming the new season. This is very fucking exciting. I'm hoping that we win this. This is our entry into the contest. It's all on our Instagram accounts and Twitter accounts and shit like that. So when you see this video that I'm about to play, please go ahead and repost it, okay? Because we want Issa to see this shit. Yeah! My best friend graduated with his master's at the age of 22. Yeah! My best friend was homeless for two months because he believed in his vision. Yeah! Content creator, visionary, and crop top connoisseur. Editor, producer, and social justice warrior. Issa, if you'll have us, we got y'all. Yeah! Wish us luck. I hope you liked it. Make sure you get all the girls. Make sure you at HBO. Make sure you at Issa Rae. Everybody, all the cast, let them know that Justin Adrian, we want this shit, okay? I'm ready! Alright, let me talk about the good news in the gay world. Frank Ocean was over here getting his motherfucking life, okay, for his birthday party. He was serving us, you know, very much so Vogue ballroom scene type of gay. Like, it, it gave me life to see his ass in his sparkly ass pants. And this underwear girl, Frank Ocean, I'm hoping that you're living your life to the fullest and living your life the way you want to now, girl. I knew that you liked peeing, but I didn't realize how intense the gayness was. And I'm completely here for it as somebody who is a dick enthusiast and feminine man, I'm completely here for it. So keep living your life. You're gonna have to get your walk up a little bit we because you would have been chopped in the real world. But it's your birthday party. I'm gonna ha let you have it, girl. <laughs> but I'm honestly so happy for you. Who I'm not happy for is Kevin Spacey's old powdered milk in the face built ass. I'm not fucking happy about this shit. So actor Anthony Rapp claims that Kevin Spacey's ass made a sexual advance on him uh, when the actor was just 14 years old. Now, he did an interview with BuzzFeed News. Kevin Spacey invited Rap over to his apartment for a party, and at the end of the night, picked Rap up, placed him on his bed, and climbed on top of him, making a sexual advance. Now, these are some serious ass allegations, okay? This is something that should not be taken fucking lightly, okay? So, now I was supremely disappointed when I found this shit. I was like, girl, please don't let this shit be true. Please don't let this shit be true because I'm over here getting my life from House of Cards and shit like that. You know, it was one of my favorite shows. I mean, I got my life to see Claire and fucking Frank just drag these hoes through the mud. You know, I did. And then here comes Kevin Spacey's ass with the sorriest most pitiful excuse of a fucking statement that I've ever seen. Like one of the ho most horrible ones that I've seen in my 23 fucking years of existence. Like wow, this was trash. He went on there and said, well girl, I'm truly sorry if this shit happened, girl. I was drunk. It was 30 years ago. And on top of that, girl, I'm gay. I'm paraphrasing that shit, but that's essentially what it said. Now, what that gave me was Frank Underwood type of tease. Like you're trying to make us focus on the fact that your ass is gay, which the media is, is currently doing. A lot of the 
the media and a lot of these news sources are currently focusing on the fact that his ass is gay instead of the fact that his ass did not even deny. He did not deny doing this to this actor who was 14 years of age at the time. He didn't even deny the shit. So it gave me very much so Frank Underwood trying to spin the story and it kind of had the effect that I thought it would. Like media is just focused, oh Kevin Spacey gay, Kevin Spacey gay. What about the whole fact that he is not denying fucking around with a 14 year old um, and I don't care drunk whatever girl. I, I don't see no excuse for that type of fucking behavior, girl. I mean, 14 years of age? Is that middle school age? I just... Oh, my God. Oh, Now, and the even shittier part of this is the fact that people, especially hating-ass bigots, are going to use this. Push their all gay people are pedophiles agenda. And that is trash because... Kevin, girl, you, I mean, you just benefiting from the communities that have been lifting your ass the fuck up and then you want to throw all our ass under the bus because you know, you know how people associate homosexuality with pedophilia and they think that shit is the same shit. And here your ass goes, a fucking big ass uh, superstar with a fucking huge platform trying to use your gayness to distract us from the fact that you over here playing around with underage peen. I'm not understanding. It's a slap in the face to all the victims of sexual assault. It's a slap in the face to the LGBT community as a whole. We know what the fuck your ass was doing, okay? It's not, it, it doesn't take a deep thinker to figure it, this shit out. Girl, we know you were trying to uh, create, fabricate another motherfucking story. And I'm going to make sure that I use my platform to make sure that we stay on the motherfucking same story and the only story that fucking matters, which is you sexually assaulting a minor. That's it. That's it. We don't give a fuck about your sexual orientation, girl. Because honestly, girl, that shit was not much of a surprise to me, girl. There have been rumors circulating about your scrotum loving ass, girl. It's okay, sis. I love a, a, a cute peen, too. I do as well. But what I'm not going to do is allow you, allow this idea to perpetuate that homosexuality can be on the same plane as, as pedophilia, girl. I, I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it. So now what I think Netflix needs to do is just go ahead and just kill your ass off in the show. Because we all, honestly, at this point, we only give a fuck about Claire. Claire is in the White House. Claire is doing the damn thing. She said it's her turn. I hope that um, Netflix offers you something and says, hey, we can write you off the show. We can make your ass die. We can have Claire send in some, some type of FBI or secret agents and kill your ass or some shit. Or you can just not fucking come back, girl. Because I want my house of cards, okay? You ain't finna ruin this shit for me. And now, if I was the actress who played Claire, bitch, I'd be mad as fuck right now that your ass is over here doing some dumb shit that's gonna affect my bag, that's gonna affect my check, okay? And let me tell you something. I need my house of cards. So get Kevin Spacey ass out of there if he's going to affect y'all shit and just keep clearing there and make her keep dragging these hoes from motherfucking field because that's all she know how to do. Okay? I need my house of cards. Don't allow Kevin Spacey old decaying donut in the face built ass to take that shit away from me. Okay? And since Donald Trump, uh, if we're talking about Game of Thrones, the Dothraki are marching on King's Landing right now to take you off the fucking Iron Throne. And no trial by combat is gonna save your ass now. Okay? Fasten your seatbelts and hold on to your motherfucking wig. Have a good goddamn evening.